a brand new World War II battle simulator. But what can you do in Easy Red 2? First and third person battles, control vehicles, give orders, and take objectives. But it gets better. In this new Easy Red 2 update, you can now create your very own maps. That's right, this game now has a sandbox. So what's the purpose of this video? We are going to answer the question, is this a good battle simulator? And how does it compare to the likes of Ravenfield, Ancient Warfare 3, and Brass Brigade? In other words, this is an Easy Red 2 gameplay review. I've downloaded four modded maps, so let's get started. Omaha Beach. Here we go. Let's get out the door. Oh, this is going to be awful. Go, 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 go. Bear in mind that this map has been... Oh, and I'm, and I'm dead already. I mean, to be fair, at least it's realistic, right? Here we go. Let's try that again. So remember, this is a modded map. If I can get to a defensive position, then I might be able to show you a bit more of it. There are different squads we can choose. For example, AT fire team, infantry, and flamethrower. Obviously, we want the flamethrower. Hopefully, this lad in front of us, we can just hide behind him. He can sponge some of the bullets for us, boys. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not dead yet. Oh, look, there's a nice fence here. No! I got so far! I was only 22 years old. We're behind enemy trenches. Come on, boys. We're behind enemy trenches. Oh, the gunplay is, is a bit janky. Oh, no! Bro, I was old. We found some Germans. He's still on his gun. He didn't... Oh, I tell you what. I could turn this German MG against them. Come on, boys. Come on. Spray and pray. Spray and pray. Is that... Yeah, no, that's Germans down there as well. Oh, I think he was American. Oops. Come on, boys. Let's capture the objective. We're taking it. And there we go. And we've taken this position as well. Oh, my God. That guy's still alive. I didn't realize. Oh, we, we were doing all right there. We got another new objective. Check this out. We are in a third person tank. If I press T, you will see I am the driver. Now, you see these little bits at the bottom? I can cycle through all of these different people and control different parts of the vehicle. So, I am now in the tank to itself. Oh, in fact, it's not a tank. It's actually an anti-tank gun. So, we do need to get that killed. We are moving on into Normandy. Let's go. We gotta take this objective and I feel like this is gonna help us get it. 200 IQ strategy works every time. Okay, I've actually left the tank so that I can go in on foot. And now you will see that not only can I go first person in the tank, I can also go first or third person on any unit that I want to. And there we go. We took the final position. The American flag goes up. Omaha Beach has been a success, although a costly one. The amount of units that I single-handedly lost there was pretty painful. So let's just recap. If that's the level of detail you can put into a battle, then what else is possible? So the objective on this map, the US Army is landing on this beach and the Germans have to hold it. And here we go. We've got to stop the American invasion. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bombs away, bombs away. Oh, my bombs hit the town. Good job. Come on, coming back around for a... Yep, that's predictable. That's how I play most of my World War II battle simulators. Let's try another one of these. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's the one that I just killed. We are in our second plane. Let's make another. Oh, there's so many Americans moving up here. Bombs away. Come on. Is that good? No. What is that? Is that one of us? It's an American. It's an American. Our very first dogfight. I'm going to just go in as a tail gunner. I'm failing to get him as a tail gunner. He's on us. He's on us. Okay, we got a head to head. We got a head to head collision. Worth it every time. Let's spawn in as a Fulsham Jaeger. Let's get stuck in there. We gotta help the boys. Okay, turns out there's been a pretty bloody battle happening here. Whilst I was mincing around in the skies, the Americans are all... Oh, the recoil, man. The recoil. Oh, that hurt me. There's also in-game order. So you see, if I hold this down, I can tell them to move and hold my entire squad. I can even make them charge down a tank. Actually, there's a whole bunch of lads just moved in on that position. Wait, what? Oh, we defended. Oh, we defended. Oh, look, I didn't... I didn't realize that happened, actually. Look, they've all stuck their hands up, bro. That's quite a nice little touch, actually. Oh, it's an Italian tank. Ugh. So to recap that battle there, just seeing those landing craft coming on and off the shore, deploying more men, is actually really cool. Not many battle simulators make that so easy. Next up, we're gonna play Iwo Jima. Hopefully this goes a little bit better than D-Day. Something tells me we're about to get gunned down. Come on, boys.
boys. Come on. Go, 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 go. I've got a flamethrower. There's a bunker. They would just be rude not to. Is there anyone even in there? Yes, there was somebody in there. Not anymore. There's not. Oh my god. I think I just got team killed. Okay, next unit. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, this isn't going much better than D-Day. I'll, I'll be honest. Let's get some air support, shall we? The air support is here. Bombs away. Bombs away. I've missed again, haven't I? I, I missed again. Yeah. Yo, is that an enemy plane? That's an enemy plane. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? I should just not be allowed to fly planes in any of these games. I see him. I see him. I see him. I've got eyes. I've got eyes. Now we just need to try and kill him. Yo, I've hit him. I think I've hit him. Yes, 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 yes. I think that's it. See you later, sunshine. See you later. Oh, get so Oh my god, no. There's one way that I can guarantee I actually hit the objective. Okay, here we go. Over the top once again. Go, 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 go. Yo, somebody surrendered up there. Is that is that one of ours? No surrendering allowed. What are you doing, bro? Bro, what are you doing? No surrender. Okay, let's see what the charge ability does. They're actually really responsive to that command. Oh, there's a bunch of lads down here, though. Oh my god. Yes, Timothy. Get him. Next objective, I'm gonna go for attack objective from direction. So let's see what they do with this one. Come on, Vincent. Look at him. He's a one-man army, man. Oh, what? What did- No, I had some fight left in me. What do you mean defeat? You can see that the squad objectives and the squad orders actually work really well. Now let's move over to our fourth modded battle. You might be beginning to see a trend here. People on the Steam Workshop really, really enjoy making landing battles. Oh, this is not where you want to be. We got to take control of these three marked areas. And here we go. Whistles, let's go, go, go. Oh, this is a lot of Germans in this hole. Oh my god, that's an anti-aircraft gun as well. Look at the amount of bodies. This is carnage, man. This is gonna be- I'm just gonna- you know what? Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. We're going in. Worth it. This is one of my previous bodies. Bro, why is he attacking the beach with tuna cans? That doesn't feel necessary. This guy's gonna pop up any second now. Watch, 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 watch. Headshot. I can actually do something to this guy, I think. Oh, I just revived the guy. Look at that. And he's immediately being killed. Yeah, I think this time he's, he's like really dead. It's a kill box. I can't even get close. Wait a second. Can I get in this tank? Oh my God. I can get in this tank. Come on, boys. You're not getting this position back. No, sir. This is going to be juicy. Why are you just shooting a tank with your rifle? It doesn't make any sense. Clear the marked area. I'm trying to clear the marked area, man. Uh, come on. If that's not clearing the marked area, then what is I'm gonna get out and try and take these positions myself. Mark my words. I will regret this. Oh my god. I mean personal space. Please don't do it. I'm bandaging. Oh my god. There's so many guys just turned up. Oh, there's a lot of guys here. You know what? Bro, how? Pretty sure we just lost about a million men. We lost 68 vehicles. How? So those four maps we just played were all created in the mission editor. So if we're doing an easy red 2 review, it only makes sense that I show you the map creation. So here we are. In the top left corner is all the tools you are going to need. So this here is the prop menu. But first and most importantly is the terrain tool. And so we've already got some sort of a hill type feature. I'm then going to come over here and select lower. And we're going to dig out a little area which we will make into a trench. But now we will come over to our prop section. We have ourselves a trench placement right here. So we can just very easily drop it somewhere like this for example example. We can come back to our terrain tool and then look, we can just get rid of the terrain. Okay, so you can see I have very quickly put together a very very basic bunker and now all I've got to do is I'm gonna just reshape the terrain around this. My stuff is under here. I'm just gonna dig it out. Let's just keep going. Just keep going. It's like an archaeological dig. It's not perfect but it is definitely progress and there you go. I think that just about proves that anybody can make themselves a map using this map editor. This is my first try. Obviously, I've not tried to make a complete map, but you can see pretty well. There's a blowing up truck I've put over here. It's got smoke coming out of it. It's got a burnt tree, a couple of palm trees, some tank traps, barbed wire, sandbags, another pillbox. The biggest limit to this is your creativity. Okay, here we go. The Easy Red 2 gameplay review. In summary, this is a great new battle simulator, although it's not perfect. The good. Visually, the game looks brilliant, especially the weapons 
options in first person. The diversity of vehicles is also good, with a bunch of different models spanning different nations. And whilst it's not perfect, the map editor is a brilliant tool. And as you've just seen, is already being utilized incredibly well. The bad. The scale of the battles does feel quite small. Lots of the missions only have a handful of units. The gunplay itself is not the smoothest, but it's still kind of good. And whilst the map editor is a great tool, it can be quite frustrating. One massive list of assets is not exactly easy to navigate. The ugly. The game does feel like it's lacking content. The campaigns are quite small, and the game is missing some pretty major nations. The bots are also incredibly janky. They barely ever take cover and seem pretty happy standing in the open. Now that being said, overall, Easy Red 2 is a lot of fun. Yes, it does depend on the modding community to fill in the content gaps, but with more Easy Red 2 updates scheduled, this game will only get better. Also, I am live on Twitch right now. I'm not really sure why I've decided to do this, but it's happening. The link to my Twitch is down below. It'll be fun, I promise.